I really like the way our e-learning lessons come out in Google Forms except for one factor and that is links. Links are a little tricky. Um, not impossible by any means but they're just a little more difficult to include in Google Forms than some other things. So I just want to show you how to make that happen. So in the sample lesson I have you see that I have them doing some practice in iXL. They're going to check off the skills they've practiced as they do them but first I want to give them a link to go sign in and start practicing in iXL. So I want to show you how to add a link to a website. Also, um, we're going to skip this and come back to this because this is an audio file. But down here you see that in a question, which this is a checkbox question, I've just placed links right within the question options. You can certainly do that as well. Um, and I'm going to show you in this section, I'm going to show you how to add a link to um, a file from your Google Drive. So if you want to include something like um, a Google Doc page that they're going to collaborate on or um, a PDF, maybe you have a handout that you want to get to them that you want to include, I'll show you how to put that in Google Drive and then link to it in your form. So let's get started with this website. So I'm going to first bring up the website that I want to take my students to. I'm going to highlight the URL at the top and choose to copy it to my clipboard. I just right clicked and chose copy there. And then I'm going to go to the editing um, of my form. I want to put that link right here in these instructions. Do five problems in iXL. I'm just going to hit enter a couple times here and right click and paste to paste that URL in. Now there's no real way to clean it up. Um, in some other things we would be able to type what text we wanted to have showing and then select that text and make it a hyperlink but we cannot do that in forms. We just have to paste the raw URL. You can't take anything out or it won't work as a link. So don't don't try and take out this HTTPS um, or it won't recognize that that's what it is anymore. So make sure you just paste the whole URL in there. Now a lot of you know that there are things that will shorten links for you and you're welcome to use that so that this link doesn't end up, you know, it could be a really long one that takes up two lines. The problem could possibly be that some link shorteners are blocked by our school filter. And there's so many of them that it's impossible just to be able to, you know, unblock them all. So um, if a student is working on it here at school and you've shortened the link, we could run into a, a tech problem there. So it's best to paste the entire link in. If you do want to use a link shortener, make sure you use tinyurl. It's the only one that I know for sure will get past our filter. So there's how to, to link to um, a website. You notice it doesn't look blue or anything yet, but when I view this form in the finished version that the students will see, it will be a blue clickable hyperlink. Okay, so let's come on down here. Um, so I've added in this list of options, I've added online math games. Can you think of any board games or card games that use math? Brainstorm with your classmates. And then I want to give them a link to a Google Doc that they can all collaborate on. So I first have gone to Drive and I make that Google Doc that I want to include. The important part here is that once you've made it, you have to make sure that the share settings are the way you need them to be. So I'm going to go to Share. And I'm going to go to Advanced. Right now it says Private, only you can access. I want to change that. I want to change it so that anyone who has this link can edit it. Okay, so you want to make sure you've got both of those settings the way you want them to be. For this particular document, they need to have a chance to edit because they're going to contribute to it. In other cases, maybe they only need view rights. So you choose what kind of rights you want to give them here. And then you're going to click Save. Then it's going to give you a shareable link that you can copy to your clipboard. We can come back here to this question. I have to get to the end of it, which you can't even see. And we'll just paste, oops, just paste that link in there. So there it is. 
pasted that huge long link into there and that's going to take them to that Google form. You can do the same thing with like say a PDF. You just upload that PDF file to your Google Drive. Make sure the share settings on it are that anyone with the link can view it and then um, you'll get that shareable link that you can then place. That's the only way to really put a file into your Google Form lesson. You're not going to be able to just upload a PDF right within this lesson.